Check it out, folks. All right, guys, what is going on? We are going to take a break from drama in today's video. We are actually going to talk about some stock market stuff, okay? Now, first thing I want to say is the reason why I don't talk about stocks nearly as often as I, as I once did is because uh, I don't want to force content when there's nothing there, right? And what I mean by that is I don't see a point in talking about the stock market every single day. I just don't. I think it works if you're a trader, but for me being a long-term investor, I really just don't see the point. I feel like the only time it makes sense for me to talk about stocks is when we see massive deals in the stock market. Uh, the stock market has plunged tremendously or there's some type of like major event that I got to talk about, like FOMC meeting or something like that or CPI or something like that. That actually makes sense. But besides that, there's just no point in me doing it. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you guys an update on the market crash portfolio. Most of you guys know I started this portfolio about two months ago or so. And I actually I actually uh, strategically and purposefully uh, started that portfolio in June. And the reason why is because, in my opinion, stocks had finally come down to a valuation that I felt was a good price to buy. And so uh, I went ahead and did that. And now I'm looking at my portfolio right now and I am beating the market. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my returns in the market crash portfolio. And so if we just go month by month, here's the month by month uh, look. Uh, in the month of June, I was basically flat. In uh, August, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, July, I'm sorry. Uh, in the month of July, my portfolio was up 6%. And then in August, uh, my portfolio was down uh, 1% in August. Now, if we go ahead and we look here at my time-weighted rate of return, I guess this is basically my all-time uh, return as of uh, August 31st of 2022. I am up 5% in my portfolio. That is beating the market. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, to all the squirrels and the crybabies who you don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 whatever, dude. Like, I'm going to go crazy with this uh, market crash portfolio and I'm going to make a lot of money. It's that simple. I am still extremely bearish. Uh, I think we are inevitably going to test those June lows that we saw uh, when the SP basically went to 3,600. I think we're going to go there again. I absolutely think we're going to test it. And when we do, I'm going to buy. Instead of being like these other YouTubers who, when the market goes to 42, 4,300, telling you to buy stocks and just keep buying a dip endlessly and all this blah, 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 dumb talk, uh, I'm going to do the opposite. I am going to buy when it makes sense. I am going to buy when the valuations are low. Uh, that's just how I'm doing it. So for me, still not buying any individual stocks yet. Uh, at some point, I will. And when I do, I'm definitely going to put a decent amount of money in there. Uh, but as of right now, guys, I'm just staying put. I, I just don't have any interest and, and buying anything right now, to be completely honest. I don't even really have a watch list because I've just been so uninterested in buying stuff. And well, 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 now would you look at that, guys? Right as I am recording this video, the S&P 500 has officially hit 3,800. And you guys know uh, we've been talking about this on this channel. Um, I, I've been bearish for a reason. And so far, it looks like what I said is starting to play out. Uh, exactly the way that I thought it would. You know, I remember back when the S&P went to 4,300, 4,200. This was like sometime in like the middle of August. You know, you had uh, every single YouTuber buying. Every single YouTuber is bullish. Uh, me, Kevin, made a tweet that said, you know, we're going back to the moon, baby, blah, blah, blah. You know, just all this crazy stuff. But this was one of the only channels on YouTube. Let's just be honest, guys. This was one of the only YouTube channels that was telling you guys I wouldn't be buying stocks here. I'd be cautious. I'd be careful. You know, it's not time to buy yet. Now, I got a lot of hate for that. But fast forward now, the S&P 500 is back at 3,800. We've been saying this. And so now, now that we've been saying this and it came to pass, where do we go from here, right? Well, my plan is very simple. Again, I'm not timing the market, but like I said, guys, it's not hard to figure this stuff out. It's not hard to figure out that in a bear market, stocks are going to go down. So when stocks are going up and you're seeing a bear market rally, probably not the best time to buy stocks. That's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it, and I've been saying this, even though stocks have come down tremendously since the beginning of the year, since January 2022, I've been saying that there are still a lot of stocks in the stock market that are still overvalued. So the way that I'm doing it with individual stocks is if they come to valuations that I believe are fair value 
or they come to valuations that I believe where the stock is undervalued, I will buy that stock. And so far, there are some stocks where I just still haven't seen that. NVIDIA is one of my favorite stocks. I love that company, but unfortunately, NVIDIA, even at this price, in my opinion, they just hit a 52-week low today. Even at that price, they're still overvalued. So for me, uh, that's where I'm at with it. In terms of the market being at 3,800, it's at about 3,894-ish. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it bounced back a little bit towards the end of the day. We got about 30 minutes left in the trading day. I wouldn't be surprised if it bounced and we ended up closing at 3,900. That would not surprise me. However, in my opinion, the market is really showing signs that we're making that next leg down, guys. It's going to happen. I, I strongly believe that we are going to test those June lows again which is why I have maintained on this channel and I don't care what anybody thinks dollar cost averaging into individual stocks is stupid. I don't care. I don't care how upset it makes you. I don't care how dumb you think I am. Uh, most of this year so far, the predictions that we've set on this channel have come true. I mean, it is what it is, but I don't agree with dollar cost averaging, for example, right? Let's take NVIDIA. You got folks like me, Kevin, buying NVIDIA at 177. Then he bought the dip again at 150. Uh, you know, then he bought the dip again. That's literally dollar cost averaging. I don't agree with that. Why don't you just analyze the stock and figure out what price in your head would you consider NVIDIA to be undervalued or at fair value? Once you figure that out, that's the price that you buy NVIDIA. That's the kind of approach that I'm taking with these stocks these days. I'm not just going to dollar cost average in Facebook at $500, you know, buying Costco at 600 Some of this crazy stuff that people did in 2021. I mean, for crying out loud, guys, have we not learned from our mistakes? Some of you guys are still making the same gosh dang mistake. And it's ridiculous. You have the nerve to buy at the top of the bull market rally. When SP was at 4,300, oh, Echo, you're an idiot. You know, the squirrels. Oh, Echo, you're an idiot. I don't care what you have to say. You don't know anything about stock. I'm just going to go ahead and you buy it. Now the S&P's at freaking 3,800. You could have just waited till now like I've been screaming on this channel. It actually makes sense to buy now. This was the time to buy. Not in August when the market rallied. Come on, folks. We got to do better than this. And that's what I'm trying to talk about on this channel. So, again, where am I at with it? We're almost getting to a point where I'm ready to start buying stuff, where I'm at least ready to start looking for some deals. Uh, I don't think we're there yet, but we're getting very, very close. And for those who are like, well, I think I'm actually going to buy stocks here. I don't blame you if you do. I, if, if, I'm letting you know right now, I'm probably not going to buy anything right here. But this point right here makes a lot more sense to start buying than buying when the S&P went to 4,300. OK, so that's where we're at with it. Those are my thoughts. Holy cow, the S&P right now looks like it's getting worse. Uh, the SP is at 38.89 uh, now, so that's not good. But anyway, like I said, guys, I strongly believe we're going to test those June lows. I promise, I promise when I start buying again, I will let everybody know. And this time when I start buying, I'm going to put a lot of money in this time. I really am. Now, you guys know my, my bearish thesis. I think at some point eventually the SP is going to hit 3,500. Could even go lower. I don't know. But I've had that as my target to really go long on stocks for a while. Uh, that's why I've still got some cash. But uh, yeah, at the very least, I definitely think we're going to test those June lows, which is when the S&P 500 went to between 36 to 3,700. And so once again, guys, I maintain my opinion that uh, unless you're buying the S&P 500, I don't think it makes sense to dollar cost average. When it comes to individual stocks, especially in this bear market that we're seeing and these rough and these rough economic conditions, I think the best thing you can do is just have some freaking patience. I ain't bought stocks in months and I don't feel bad about it because guess what? All the gains that we didn't see in these last two months are getting wiped out right before our eyes. Okay. And that's, that's just it. That just is what it is. Okay. That, that, that's how I feel. So anyway, there you guys have it. That'll go conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.